Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Neil. We've packed up our home in Glasgow and moved into our cute retro camper van Harmony to travel all over Scotland exploring the best places to stand up paddle along the way. So come join our adventure as we visit the highlands, islands and everywhere in between on our Sup Safari Scotland! The Isle of Butte, somewhere so close that we left it almost until last, like you do. I think we're going to camp here for the night. This, this is, is Butte. Butte! And this is the next morning. Perfect weather for looking at another stately home. The current house at Mount Stewart was built for the third Marquess of Butte in the Gothic Revival style and is jam-packed with every different style of marble. It is said to have had the world's first indoor pool and was the first home to be lit by electricity in Scotland. John Crichton Stewart, the third Marquess of Butte, was an interesting character. He came to his title at the age of six months old when his father passed away. His wealth grew to such an extent it made him the richest man in the world when he became of age. He also lost his mother at the age of 12 after spending much time travelling some of the most impressive places in Europe. It is said that as a boy he would sketch the different architectural styles of the buildings he visited, planning what he would one day build. He was known for his philanthropy and was instrumental in saving what is left of Falkland Palace. He was also a supporter of education for women, funding St Andrews University's first female lecturer to teach anatomy to female medical students when the male professor of the time refused to do so. His many interests included religion, he converted to Catholicism at the age of 21, medievalism and the occult, which shows in the design elements of Mount Stewart. Interestingly, he had his birth chart reproduced on the ceiling of his bedroom.
So we are doing a little bit of different paddling today. We are going on the Waverley, which is the only ocean going paddle steamer left in the world still running today. Sailing down the Clyde on the Waverley brought back so many memories of our time in Glasgow, passing places we'd visited, walked, cycled and paddled. Bowling is where the Forth and Clyde Canal joins the River Clyde and is where our canal paddling started a few summers back. Depending on the tide, you can sometimes make out the wreck of the sugar boat which lays on its side and provides an interesting paddle destination for kayakers. You can check out the satellite image online. One of the most peaceful and still paddles we did was in Gairlock out of Kidston Park near Helensborough. Danoon was one of the ports of call along the way and brought back memories of one of our first paddles in Scotland some years ago. As we steam past the Isle of Bute, we see our campsite of a couple of nights ago. The Kyles of Bute is one of Scotland's best kept secrets. Our destination is the town of Tiknibure, which I probably pronounced incorrectly, where we have enough time to wander into the village and admire the view across to the western side of Butte and even the northern side of the Isle of Arran.
Coming back past Brayhead, there was a concert on which the Waverley promptly upstaged. Hill House is considered to be Art Nouveau designer Charles Rennie Mackintosh's domestic masterpiece. It was built for a wealthy publisher and completed in 1904. Not only did Mackintosh design the exterior, but also the interior, furniture and fittings. The exterior is clad in Portland cement hull, which was a new technology at the time, but unfortunately was found to be less durable than the traditional material. The house is currently enclosed in a huge structure to let it dry out, slowing down its demise. Discussion over whether it should be allowed to decay as a living work of art versus preservation through non-authentic means provides an interesting philosophical debate regarding the structure's future. Thanks for watching. If you'd love to keep the videos coming, you can support us by liking, subscribing, clicking notifications, and sharing with your paddleboarding mates. See you next week.